The vision when we started Globus was to create a company that really went after some of the most innovative solutions and problems that were being seen by clinicians in the spine world. We really had a vision to create a, a new system of doing things that listened to our customers and responded quickly. I know our CEO always says that you should be the CEO of your own product in order to kind of get things done to move things along. So someone who's successful really has to believe in that, believe in the product and make sure that you know that's their top priority. I think that there's a huge opportunity at Globus for crossover of non-med tech personnel. We have an expansive training program. We'll teach you the anatomy, we'll teach you how the medical device processes. We want innovative thinkers and passionate people to be part of our teams. During the interviewing process I was very candid saying my education is aerospace, I've worked in aerospace, I don't know much about medical and actually my who became my boss at the time told me you know what thank you for being very candid but engineering's engineering and if, if you're good at problem solving then that, that's the type of people that we want to have. You wear so many hats here we're growing we're kind of becoming a larger company but with that small company feel you have so many responsibilities on your plate, but it gives you so much experience in such a short period of time that it's never boring. I decided to come to Globus because I saw it as a growing opportunity. I didn't want to be stuck in a very structured environment where I had to have three years work experience before I was even considered. I wanted somewhere that said, hey, she's motivated, she's excited, she can take on this role, and, and we have great mentors, great examples of young leaders, and that's really where I felt comfortable with myself taking the step forward because I knew I had that support system behind me. We try to have the same individuals work on a project from inception all the way through launch. For engineers, that's great. They get to see the entire project. They get to see how all the little decisions they make throughout the life of that project impact you know, its final outcome and its applicability to the market. We had a surgeon in uh, to sit down talking about a product that you know, we had all agreed that we were going to be developing. And he kind of leans back and he goes, it'd be brilliant if you had something that did this, this, this. You know, we knock, knock on the shoulder of uh, one of the machinists and we say, you know, Tom, could you, could you make this? So he runs back into the shop and then over the course of the next hour, he's prototyping what the surgeon just suggested in another meeting. He comes back and goes, Doc, is this what you're talking about? And so we, from ideation to a functional prototype that we tried in a cadaver lab, we were able to validate an idea in the course of two hours. And uh, it's a product that we're actively developing and we're going to be coming out with in the next coming years. Our relationship with, with surgeons, it's really part of our, our DNA. And the surgeon community that we've been able to work with and, and form relationships has been vital to where we are. They are the eyes and the hands of what we're trying to do every day. And without them, you know, we can think of great designs, we can make great prototypes, but they're the ones who are actually going to use that. I liked being an engineer. I liked creating things, but I wanted to create them to help people. My brother has a spinal deformity. I saw Globus as a, a spinal implant company looking to help people just like my brother. I just think about the person on the other end of it could be my dad. And knowing that we're helping somebody else out there is kind of what drives me every day and gets me excited. Thank you.